Fascia is not just connective tissue. It's a liquid crystal communication network that wraps every muscle, organ, nerve, and vessel. Healthy fascia is elastic, hydrated, responsive, electrically conductive, and able to carry microcurrents and mechanical signals instantly through the body. When the fungal seeds germinate and begin forming fibers, those fibers don't just float around randomly. They embed into fascia where they behave very differently from organic collagen. They create tension lines, adhesions, sheet-like layers, rope-like cords, and scaffolds that do not respond to stretch, hydration, or heat the way normal fascia does. This is the part that finally clicked after thousands of hours of observation. The mimic appears to be using fascia the way polychaetes use the ocean floor, as a substrate for constructing tunnels, tubes, and scaffolds. My current hypothesis is that the fibers are creating conductive pathways for the organism to communicate across tissues, building protective sheaths that shield its more vulnerable stages, anchoring itself into areas of slow detox or poor circulation, and forming a highway system within the body's tensegrity network. This explains why chronic pain patterns follow fascial lines, why symptoms migrate, and why certain body regions feel mapped or gripped in a way fascia alone would not need to explain. Unlike a worm or a parasite, it doesn't crawl. It slides because fascia is a hydrated gel matrix. Where collagen fibers naturally glide past one another, the mimic inserts threads, sheets, and micro bridges. These act like train tracks, allowing the organism to shift position in response to vibration, heat, electrical charge, or local cellular activity, which is exactly what I've observed under the microscope. Once you understand its strategy, everything becomes less frightening. You can see that it's not random, it's structural, and anything structural can be unwound. This is why breathwork, fascia unwinding, heat, hydration, and sigil harmonization all work. We're not fighting it, we're dissolving its architecture.